Hi, I'm Trisha Shari. We're all looking for efficient ways to water our vegetable gardens, and today, designer Colleen Dieter is joining me to show us how to make ollas. Colleen, what exactly is an olla? So, olla is the Spanish word for pot, and basically what this is, is it's a uh, clay pot that is porous, and you bury it in your garden, and the water slowly seeps out. I've found that if I'm gardening in raised beds, um, sometimes the raised beds will get kind of like a crusty layer sure. on the top. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot that of people have that faster. problem. Yeah, and the water, when you go to water with the hose, sometimes the water will just sort of pool on the top or even mm -hmm. run off the sides mm -hmm. of the bed. So the oyas deliver the water directly to the roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a great so. way to give plants that need a little extra water what they need in exactly. a landscape too. Yeah, exactly. So like it's really good for tomatoes mm -hmm. because they need more even watering. Mm -hmm. So it helps because the water seeps out so slowly, it helps keep the water in the soil longer sure. and it's a more even watering. So mm -hmm. it's not drying out so fast mm -hmm. and then getting wet that fast too. And you could even yeah. add fertilizer to the water to right. feed the plants yeah. as well. So it's really mm -hmm. great for compost tea applications too, to get the compost tea Perfect. directly into the soil. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I know you can buy them, but you're gonna show us a quick and easy way to make yeah. our own. Yeah, and I wanna thank my friend Cliff Perkins who came up with the de this design. And I've seen a couple of other different kinds of designs that this one um, ended up being like the easiest mm -hmm. to use. And one of the keys, Trisha, too, is to get an azalea pot mm, mm -hmm. because the azalea pot is shorter than yeah. a regular flower pot. Yeah, those so are the short, helps. squatty mm -hmm. ones. Short, squatty mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, okay. so look for the azalea pots. Most of the nurseries carry them. They're mm -hmm. easy to find. But we have the 10-inch azalea pot here and a 12-inch saucer. Okay, they so what's our together. first step for prepping this saucer? So the first step is to take some Gorilla Glue and what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread the Gorilla Glue around on the inside of the saucer. And you wanna cover and every gonna, inch. Yes, you're gonna completely mm -hmm. cover it and you can use like a, a paint stick mm -hmm. to kind of spread it out in there. Cause okay. that's gonna be thrown away so you don't wanna use a brush you'd have to try to clean. Yes, exactly. Good and point. probably wear mm -hmm. gloves while you're doing yes. that. Yes, yeah, it's really important to try to wear gloves because this Gorilla Glue can get all over everything. But it dries so, pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, and in this instance, it's gonna end up on the inside of the Oya, so you don't have to worry about it drying mm -hmm. or anything like mm -hmm. that before you move on to the next step. Okay. So then the next step is to use silicone caulk. And basically, uh, this, this particular kind of silicone caulk is for masonry and mm -hmm. stone. Mm -hmm. And you just put a bead of that all the way around the edge of the saucer here. A very like liberal that. bead. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you want to put it really thick. Okay, and then you also put a bead around the top mm -hmm. of your azalea pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. like that. You flip the pot over and you'll be wearing gloves, of course, and you place them together like that, okay? And then to get a really good seal, you put something heavy like a brick on top of it. You'll see the silicone will start to kind of come out from the seam right there, and you can come through with some alcohol on a rag and just kind of wipe it off mm -hmm. where it's dripping out too much. too much, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you let that sit for one hour. After it sits for an hour, you fill it with water and you'll be able to see if there's any leaks around the seam. Mm -hmm. And if there's leaks in that area around the seam, you can come back through with the more silicone mm -hmm. and just fill those just little more. spots mm -hmm. in because you don't want it to be leaky to where there's gonna be too much water coming out of one sure. spot. Then what you do is you take it out to the garden and you bury it to about right here mm -hmm. so that there's about an inch of the pot sticking out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And then when you water, you put the water through this hole right here mm -hmm. with the hose. And then you put a rock on the top to keep mosquitoes from getting in. And so you'd use these in containers, vegetable gardens, yeah. many, many different applications. Yeah. Well, how far apart would you space these in your garden? 
Just about every five feet or so, but it depends on the kind of soil you have and what you're mm -hmm. growing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is an excellent idea for all of us to uh, help our drought stress plants in our gardens. For Backyard Basics, thanks for joining me. I'm Tricia Shari, and thanks, Colleen, thanks, for joining Trisha. me today. It was fun. Mm -hmm.